What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Crashlander survival and you'll notice I built a new truck. I really wasn't a fan of the previous truck, the flatbed, so I want to make it look more like a, a, you know, a truck with a proper profile and stuff. And it's still a flatbed, but you know, we've got some space now to put some things. And of course, it's a complete metal to frame, so the truck should stay intact. All the important parts like the wheels and stuff are attached with metal too, but I just think it looks a lot nicer. You know, we got a little bit of a front end on it now, and of course it's nice because we can put our two chests in there for storing stuff, and then we got, you know, our gas, our bed, and good things. But today what I want to do is set up the automatic watering system for the farm. Uh, I want to get going on some farming, and in order to do that we're going to need an automatic watering system because I do not want to water by hand. Uh, I don't know uh, how many vacuum pumps we're gonna need because we got a pump from all the way down there and then get it up into a storage container set up in the basement uh cool thing though i noticed so this is the size of the farm i want to go with it's going to be 240 plots it's 15 by 16 just sort of the way it fits you'll notice here we get pretty much right up to the edge of the tree trunk and here we're still covered by the platform the other thing that i noticed is really cool with this mod is when it's raining um it doesn't actually it, it, did it stop i think it stopped raining but when it's raining, it doesn't actually rain underneath this platform because it's covered from the sky, which is kind of cool that that actually is a thing. Uh, so I don't think these soil plots, like it was just raining, none of these soil plots have been watered. So we're going to build a whole overhead watering system. It's going to be 15 water pumps, and it's just going to go back and forth and just basically sprinkle this entire area. And we're going to try and get some more soil plots as well and uh, do everything like that. We should be okay with just one water pump. I know... Usually we probably want more than one water pump, um, but one water pump stores, you know, a hundred water. And if we only have to do 16 plots in a row, like realistically, we only really need, you know, a few of these storage containers, like, uh, what, two, three storage containers would be technically enough to cover the entire farm plot. So we'll try and set that up, but I am going to do 15 actual sprinklers to make it easier. So rather than going back and forth, it's just going to be like one line of sprinklers that gets pushed out on a series of pistons and comes back in. So, got a lot to do. Um, I don't know how much stuff we actually have. Probably not much, so let's just take a look here. First thing we're going to need is some water jets. We're going to need glue for that and metal cage components and plastic. Metal cage components will be no problem. Glue, we're going to need to get some more shells. Unless there's a different way to make glue. Glue from shells or glue from honeycomb and chemicals. That's so much worse. Glue from shells it is. And then, of course, we need plastic. Plastic. We need oil. So we're going to need more oil for that as well. Oil. And we got a little bit of chemicals from the raid we did on uh, on the uh, HQ. When we finished up the HQ. More chemicals in here? No. Just some paint and stuff. So we're going to have to go to the ocean. Get that done. That is still making wood. I also changed around my crafting stations, in case you guys noticed. Uh, you know, a few people mentioned in the comments, you don't need a chest in between each one. They'll automatically sort of grab stuff from either end. The other thing I noticed, which is weird, is sometimes they'll output backwards. So I have four chests on this side and like six chests on this side because I built a few more and I've been just mass producing wood. You can see this is the carpenter bot. It's just been going on full loop, taking basically all of our scrap wood and turning it into regular wood because... That's pro I, you know what, I could probably stop that now, because we might need some for cardboard at some point in time. Uh, but I've noticed, like, sometimes when I build stuff, for example, these wedges, like, I built them here, and they went back that way. I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that. It seems like it doesn't really matter what direction. Like, look, if we build, let's just build a simple set of wedges there. So that's two wedges. We've got two here. Watch, this is going to become four as soon as that finishes. There are four, see? I don't know, it went backwards. I don't know how that works, it just does. I didn't think that happened in regular survival. I thought they always output to the right, but I guess these craft stations can output in either direction, which is kind of cool. Either way, we're eventually going to loop that all around with vacuum pipes, and it's going to be great, and, you know, whatever else. Anyway, let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's take the truck. We're going to go to the ocean, get some oil. Uh, we're going to get some glue clams. We're just going to go all the way to Bill's house, pretty much. It's like the biggest sort of lake ocean that we have. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to get a bunch of glue clams, and that... Do I need anything else? I don't, I don't think so. Wait, what does it take to make soil? We don't have a lot of soil. We're gonna need a lot of soil. And soil is good. Oh, the honeycomb respawned. That is wonderful. I love that. It's always nice to get free honeycomb. What is the soil requirement? I do not know. It is over here. Soil, sand, paint, flowers, and fertilizer. Okay, well, that's good. We actually have a lot of fertilizer 
from again raiding the HQ. So we need paint flowers. It's too bad we have a lot of paint and not paint flowers, but anyway. Alright, so we're gonna grab some paint flowers too while we're out. And by while we're out, I mean just right now. Look at all these paint flowers that spawn here. This is so perfect. And then, yeah, let's just head out to Bill's house. Some of you might have noticed, too, with this truck, I decided to actually make most of it out of wood. Uh, and I made it a little bit wider than the previous truck, so the wheels kind of have a little bit more, uh, you know, stability across the whole thing. Won't roll as likely. But I also made it out of wood instead of metal, just so that everything's a little bit lighter. And, uh, you know, it just, it just drives a little bit better that way. I was kind of worried that if I made it all out of metal that, you know, it would get too top-heavy. So the cab out of wood and the bottom out of metal too, it sort of works out well. And if I have to, I can put more concrete underneath the truck in between the frames and uh, really just make it, you know, work a little bit better. But this seems to be a great truck now. And Bill's house is loading. Perfect. What's up, Bill? We are back at your house. Let's see what Bill has to say. I think Bill's got some trading and stuff. What's up, Bill? Trading. Oh, no, you don't. I did all your quests. Oh, no, I can't check your quest because I have a side quest. That's right. You can only do one side quest at a time. Never mind. I gotta go chop down some trees, Bill. And then we'll deal with your stuff. Uh, let me just get in the water, I guess. And see what happens. I bet you our truck floats now. So much wood. Yeah, that is very, very cool. I'm definitely gonna have to put float tires on this at some point in time and see if we can make an actual amphibious truck. Oh, does it sink? No, it still does float. It just needs to... Mm, interesting. But yeah, I, I would love to make an amphibious vehicle. They do have those big float tires. They've got props and stuff in this game. There's not really much of a point to building water vehicles and scrap mechanic. I guess for oil harvesting and stuff. Although we're eventually going to have a pump truck. For shell harvesting, maybe? We could build like an underwater submarine thing. Harvest shells that way. Get glue clamps faster. Although, to be honest, what was the other glue clamp? Honeycomb? I guess we can't really get honeycomb quickly. Is there a... Wait, maybe there's a beehive thing? I don't know, to be honest. I haven't really looked at all the crafting recipes in this mod. But yeah, if there's a way to get honeycomb quickly, then it's probably faster to get glue through honeycomb uh, than to go digging for shells or swimming for shells. But I'm not really sure, to be honest. All right, I think we definitely have enough glue clams. Hopefully it's enough oil. We just have to make plastic block to make this stuff. So we don't really need a whole lot of oil, I don't think. And then paint flowers, I don't know. We'll see if that's enough. But we're going to head back to base and start crafting some stuff. I mean, we only need 15 pumps, right? So hopefully we have enough. And I'm pretty sure we have enough pistons. Like, we got a couple extra level 1 pistons. I have those two level 5 pistons from before. So we got those for sure, which gives us a 30 block extension. Um, we need to go out 16 times 3. Oh, shoot. That's a horrible no I should make it 15 honestly because each soil plot is a three by three block space and then each piston can extend by 15 blocks so if we did 15 yeah we're gonna do 15 long soil plots so we're only gonna get 15 times 15 um so instead of 240 we're only gonna get 225 plots and uh I mean that'll be fine that's enough, but it just saves us a whole extra piston. Because if we do 15 by 15, we can do three pistons, it's 45 blocks, that'll make it the whole length. Oh wait, no, because it's extension blocks. We can do 16, we can do 16, because the pumps will be lined up on top of the first one with zero extension, and then it's plus 45 after that. So yeah, 16 will be perfect, actually. Alright, we're back with supplies, so let's see what we can make here. Uh, we're gonna need a bunch of plastic. How much, hold on, how much plastic do I actually need per pump? I need 25 plastic per pump. And we need 15 pumps. Uh, I don't know if we're going to make enough plastic here. Let's just see what happens. Then we're also going to need probably two more water containers. Because we need at least three water containers total to get all the plots covered. Um, so we're going to need a couple more of these guys here. Wait, I thought I had one of those. Didn't I have an extra... I thought I had an extra one of those sitting around somewhere. No, I have an extra full gas can. Do I not have an extra partial gas can? I don't. Okay, so we got to make a couple partials. So we need two of these. We need more glue. Right, 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 right. We got to make more glue. Do I make glue and chemicals? I do. There we go. Lots of glue. Perfect. Plastic, 75 plastic. All right, well, we're just going to spend a bit of time crafting. I'll see how many of the... Uh... How many of the little things I can get? Little pumps? And then we'll be, uh, we'll have to figure this out. And then we gotta actually wire it all up. We gotta hang it. So it's gotta build, basically I'm gonna make like a tray 
underneath the, the floor here. Uh, it's going to be a pain in the butt to build, to be honest. Uh, we don't need any of that stuff. Alright, none of that stuff. Um, need some of these. One, two, three, four. Alright, I think we'll be okay. Uh, metal cage, there we go. Another one of those. Uh, a couple of these. One there. Let's make another one as soon as that metal cage is done. Perfect. Excellent. Upgrade this. Done. Level 5. Perfect. Three level 5 pistons. That's exactly what we need. Uh, let's make more glue. And keep going. Glue. And what do I need now for pumps? Metal glue. Oh, more metal cages per pump. So I need 15 more metal cages. Alright, well, we're just going to make a ton of pipes. Because we're going to need a bunch more metal cages. There we go. Can I make the water containers now? Plastic block, glue, metal cages. Where? Wait. So interesting. You can't... Wait, what? You have glue. Do we not have glue? No, I have glue, plastic. So you can't... The assembler's like the only one that can't pull stuff in the reverse order. That's kind of interesting. Everything else can pull from either direction, but the assembler is the one that works the way that you would expect, where it has to be from left to right. Um, but all these other stations can pull from the right or the left. That's kind of a, an interesting thing to know. So this one for sure has to be wired up proper in a loop. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we'll just wire them all up in a loop. But kind of interesting that that's a, that that's a thing. Alright, so we gotta come out like that, and then we gotta go down. I know there's a vacuum wall piece we can use that, like, makes it an adapter to the wall. Um, but I'm not really too worried about doing that yet. Like, there's a piece we can make that makes this an adapter so that there's no hole in the wall. But it consumes an entire straight piece to do it. So I don't I don't want to waste a straight piece on that because I kind of need them. Like, we're sort of, sort of broke. We don't have glass. Glass is sort of the issue. Uh, and I've got to get a, basically a whole lot more sand to make glass. So this is, that's as far as I can go. There we go. I don't know if we're going to make it. We're going to try. These are full extension pipes. Might be close. Only five more pipes. I mean, we could use turns. Three, two. Uh, shoot. Is this not going to... One. Yeah, we're not even, we're not even close. I need more glass. God dang it. We're not going to make it there without glass. Unless, of course, we put the water storage containers low in a little, like, bin here and then just wire them across. It'll save us a whole ton of vacuum pipes to have, like, a box here that just holds all the pumping units. And we just wire it up with a block. But I like the look of this, unfortunately. But I need, I need more, more pieces. All right, in the meantime, I guess we might as well craft as many of these as we can. Glue, we don't have... Okay, so we gotta grab the glue out of here. One, we have one water cannon, is that it? That's all I've crafted so far? One? Yeah. One water cannon. All right, so let's see how many more we can craft. Another two, and then we're out of plastic. Okay, is that... And then we got... That's it. That's all the plastic we got. There's a little bit more plastic. What else do we need for more plastic? We need oil. Another one, that's it. Is there no more plastic over here? We got water there, we got... Honestly, I might be jumping the gun on... Oh, we got sand. We do have 240 sand there, okay. So that's good. We got ember. Like that. We need to make coal? I guess we can just make some coal? That's like not efficient at all, but we'll just do that. And then we'll use that to make this? Yeah. Like how much coal do you even get for that? 20? Okay, that's not bad. That might be enough glass, actually, for us to get to get going. We're gonna run... We need more oil, though. Gonna need to go get more oil. I only have 10... Like, oh, God. Do I even have enough chemicals, though, to do this? It's three pumps. We need 15. We need literally 15 pumps. I got T-pieces. That's fine. No, nothing. Man, this might... This might be... A, this might be too big of a project. There's four pumps. Let's just put them in an empty chest here by themselves. There we go. There's four pumps. And that's that's all we got. Yeah, that's that's very unfortunate. Alright, build one of these, I guess. Vacuum pipe wall link. There we go. Alright, so now we can put the wall piece like that. And it sort of blends in. Uh, we'll have to paint that at some point. And then we can go down from there. I'm assuming that works, like... 
Do I need an extra, you know what, let's just put an extra curve piece here. Doesn't matter, we got lots of curves. So there we go, we can do like something like this. And then we can just curve that in there. Like so, and then just, you know, this goes to here. Not really a big deal. And then that of course goes to our third container. And again, we need three containers. Each container stores 100. We're doing 225 plots, so we need enough containers to do all that. I know this is such a huge waste of resources, and, you know, we could do the whole, let's put a little container and have them down, but, but I like the look of this so much better. I think this is more realistic to, like, how you would actually be pumping stuff. you just have a big pump. You wouldn't necessarily have... Like, the connection tool, you know, it'll let it connect from those straight into the the watering no problem without any hose right and that's fine it's just not it's not really it's not really that realistic oh my god you can make metal ladders for your own base are you serious are you serious oh i've been like using my lift to get up this whole time and i can just make ladders and i'm 99 percent sure the wolves couldn't climb ladders that's so sick that we can make our own ladders I, that's, that's actually legit. I should just be building, like, a ladder that goes up here, rather than a staircase. I'm so used to old school scrap mechanic ways, where you don't have ladders and things, but that's wicked, we can build a ladder. Oh, man, I've been doing everything so bad. Oh, well, doesn't really matter, it's not a huge deal. Uh, let's see, let's just build six. Yeah, we're gonna need them eventually later anyway, no matter what, that's good. Used up all that. What else we got here? We need more chemicals. Uh, chemicals and oil to make plastic, so that's important. And then we also need some more metal cages. I'm just gonna need a whole ton of metal cages, honestly. There we go, two of those. How many more? Four, perfect. All right, down to here, like this. I think we gotta go over one, maybe? Something like that. And then down, and then full extension. Boom. Boom. And I should be able to get this pump into the water. Perfect. That's, that's perfect. There we go. Our giant freaking tube for pumping water. Now we just gotta hook it up. And then we should be able to just, uh, you know, get the whole thing pumping water, filling those containers. Which is at least, you know, step one complete. Oh my god, look at how fast it pumps. Holy cow, you can see the water containers moving at a million miles a second. That's awesome. I think the pumps in the older, like, survival pumped a lot slower. I'm pretty sure the vacuum pumps in original survival were really, really slow. And we would have needed, like, four or five pumps just to handle this. And look at how fast those filled. Like, that's insane. I'm, like, 99% sure of that. I'm not positive, but I, I think Cosmo and I, when we were playing our co-op, we had to have, like, a whole pumping station just to have enough water to run our mega farm. And I'm 99% sure this mod got rid of that. So, anyway, let's, uh, we're gonna take the truck. We're gonna go back to the ocean. Need a whole ton more oil. Um, and then, and then I think that's it. Oil and chemicals, right? So we just need oil and corn. And if we get that, then we can make more plastic. And if we can make more plastic, then I think that's all the parts we need. 23. 26 glue so that's enough glue yeah it's just it's literally just the plastic we definitely have enough metal we have enough glue and we can make enough metal cages so all right we're gonna get out of here and we'll be back in a jiffy all right i'm back i didn't oh look all the paint flowers here respawned that is super convenient they were not spawned when i left but yeah i filled up my inventory with stuff i actually got a, a soil bag from a chest too which was kind of cool uh but let's see hopefully this is enough to finish the pumps we aren't really going to grow anything today. I just want to get the whole pumping system set up and have that all working so that we're, you know, good to go. We're obviously going to need a lot more soil, so I'll probably have to go and, uh, you know, trade for some more soil as well. I think that's going to be easier than crafting it because we need sand block that I just don't have. Um, let's see what we got here. Where is all of our soil, though? It's all in here. Yeah, so that's only another, like, 25 soil, which isn't bad. It's not great, though. Uh, let's see here. Chemicals. Paint flowers and corn. So we're just going to mass produce that. Let's put that on repeat. And let's just dump all the rest of our corn and paint flowers into there. Dump more fertilizer that we got as well. Um, what else do we have? We have more chemicals in here. We need more oil, right? Let's dump all our oil in there. And then we got to make some plastic. 
So let's do this and mass produce plastic. There we go. Put that on repeat as well. Put chemicals on repeat. And those two will just continue. And while that's all happening, let's grab our soil. Whoops, not that. Let's grab our soil here. Although we are going to need some wood in a sec. Um, we got more Oh, no, that's right. These chemicals. Yeah, okay. We're, we are going to need more wood in a sec. Because we're going to use wood to make the initial structure. Which I guess we can do that as well. So let's just go down. Let's put down these soil plots. Which isn't going to be a lot. We need 240 total. I barely... Oh, they do get rained on. Oh, that's weird. I don't know if that's true, though. It's raining right now. Does this Is this going to get wet? Actually, that's not even a good test because... Okay, so here's the thing. When I was here before, they didn't get rained on. When the, But I think it's because our base wasn't spawned when it was raining. And then maybe they low... I don't know. I don't honestly know. It doesn't matter. We need an automatic watering system anyway. Because it's not always going to rain when we want to grow crops. Uh, so no matter what, we have to have that set up. But yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird that they're getting rained on. I didn't think that they would get rained on underneath the cover... But honestly, I have no idea how the system works. There we go. This is look at how look at how much soil that got us. That got us literally. You know what? I'm gonna actually I'm an idiot. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend all this time picking this up. I'm gonna outline the whole thing first before we actually fill in the center. Wow, it's still short. Don't even have enough to outline it. There you go. That's gonna be our our farm, and then so we can figure out the dimensions of this. I'm going to build a pillar here and just go straight up until we hit the platform. We're going to be dropping water from a ridiculously high height. Like, I don't even care. It doesn't even matter. We're going to drop it quite literally from this high up. It's going to be great. So let's just get out of the way here. There we go. And then let's extend this up into that. So that's the first cutoff point. So there we go. So this is the initial row, something like that is where they're gonna have to start. And we're gonna have the assembly hang for sure. Like we're not gonna build it into the basement. We're gonna save that for vacuum pipes and stuff. But we just gotta make sure we get this all set up. And then the next one is gonna be over here. And then we'll build two pillars on the other corners as well, just to make sure we really know the full dimensions. Actually, you know what? Doesn't matter. We're just gonna build the initial ones here and extend about 45 blocks. Right? And that should be... That should be the full distance. That should cover it. I hope. Alright, at some point in time too, we're gonna need to make an actual hatch here. So we can get in and out. And, uh... And get into the basement and grab water if we have to. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, we're just gonna cut a hole here. Right? Oh, god, that's too far. Okay, so this is where our first row has to be. Has to start at this point, And then it has to continue... In both directions. Let's just mark these with a metal pillar inside for now. Just so that I can delete the pillar outside. There we go. Something like that. And then what we gotta do, essentially, is I gotta build... Uh, well, hold on. We have to build more pumps first. And then, after we build more pumps, then we gotta build, like, a hanging rail that we can mount all these pumps to. So let's see what we can do here. Can't we build more plastic? I need more oil. Why? Wait, what? There's oil. Okay. Is there not? What happened to all my oil? Did I not put oil in here? Did I auto-create? Oh, I auto-made plastic. That's right, 195. There we go. I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. We got enough. We got tons of excess chemicals. Uh, so I need to make these. One, two, three. Okay. And then I can make another five. So that'll be a total of eight more. And I have four in here, so it'll be 12 total. I'll be three short. Dang it, need more need more oil. Oh, god dang. All right, we're going back to get more oil, I guess. Before we do that, though, let's just build this rail. So I'm just going to build a line like this. Oh, okay. Or I'm going to just, just fall. Perfect. Yeah, working at heights in Scrap Mechanic is sort of a pain in the butt. And actually, when I have to build big challenges, like when we do some of our our big multiplayer builds, I actually find myself building them in challenge mode because you can just fly around and it's super convenient. And of course, Minecraft has that kind of creative flying ability and Scrap Mechanic doesn't. Although, to be honest, we're in survival, so we wouldn't have that anyway. Uh, there we go. All right, so I just got to very carefully fall onto... Okay, almost fell again. And then we just got to extend 
this. Can I even reach that? I can't. Okay, perfect. Well, this is just great. So there we go. Go like that. Bring this over there. There we go. All right. All right. We're in business now. Here we go. So this is where the first line of sprinklers has to be, which means, um, is this, oh, there is a center point. There is going to be a center point because there's, let's find the center point because there's going to be 15 plots. So there should be a perfect center point. There should be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this right here should be our center point. And that's where we can mount our pistons. The only reason this matters is because with pistons and scrap mechanic, I want to make sure there's even weight on either side of the pistons. So that as we're pushing out, it, um, you know, it doesn't get like weirdly stuck trying to like jam it from one side and not the other. So that's where we're going to mount that. Which, if we extend this all the way up, goes to there. Alright, so we can cut a groove here. Something like this. And then we just want to mount this. I'm trying to mount this to metal 3. Even though, like, it is never going to get attacked up here by anything. But, god dang it. I, I, I hate working at heights. I need a fall arrest harness. This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, I also put a metal three cage around this. That, I mean, again, I think this is totally excessive, but this should prevent wolves from, you know, getting in there and smashing our pump, maybe. All right, so if I have three pistons, it should be block, piston, block, piston, block, piston, and then assembly. No, I need to go back one more. There we go. So this could be our block, like that, metal three. Nice, nice metal three T piece. Just to really hold that, and then we go piston, like so, block, and then we go piston again, and then we go block, and then we go piston a third time, and then another block, done. And that's our entire setup, we can set these to all be 15 on slow. And of course, to get this to work, we're just going to put like a color coding system with a sensor, or a series of notches with a sensor, either way. And they'll just automatically fire every time they hit the sensor. So we can cover that up. And then this needs to go to some sort of an underhanging rail. Which we'll make out of metal one. Because we've got a lot of that. And we'll need two rails. One on either side. So something like this that comes... I'm just going to put a hole there so I know where it starts and ends if we're in the basement. That way we uh, don't accidentally delete something if we're working in the basement. There we go. So that goes like that. Uh, did I grab that from the back? Yes, so there to there. That goes like that. And that goes like that. Perfect. And then we just have to make a wooden cradle. Uh, wooden? No, nah, we can do this out of metal. Right? Metal one. And then this just goes across. Wait, no, hold on. The rail has to go back one more. Shoot. Gotta go back to there. There we go. Need space for it. And then another one there. Perfect. Like that. There we go. Done. Let's just put our wood back. Okay. It's a really difficult project when you're working way too high above the ground. When uh, Cosmo and I were building systems before when we made our mega farm, the watering system on that was much, much easier to work on. But anyway, we'll go like this. There we go. It's, of course, sagging. Might need to use my lift here to prop that up and get it into place. So let's just do something like this. There we go. And then let's jam that in there. Okay, so perfect. So that rail, that'll just slide along that. Not a big deal. And then let's do the same on the other side. Go across like this. And go across like that. Done. And then we're going to put a little hook piece like so. And another little hook piece like so. Perfect. Break that off. That should stay. And now we can clean up all the scaffolding no we have to go out way way further on both of these right because i gotta build that yeah no i can do this from the basement let's clean up all the scaffolding and then let's just cut holes in the basement that'll be easier all right so now all we should need for this system is uh just to go get a little bit more oil to build a little bit more plastic to get two more pumps i'm gonna confirm that just to be sure so we don't waste our time so there's four Three, four, five, that's seven. No pumps in there, no pumps in there, no pumps in there. How do I only have seven pumps? Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? I, oh, I didn't, I didn't build the rest. There's five more. That'll give us 12 total. We have enough metal cages. 
We have enough glue, we have enough of that, we just need more plastic. How much more plastic? We need five bunches of oil to make 15 plastic. And we need a total of two more, three more pumps? Three, so we need 75 plastic, and this makes 15. So we have to go back and get at least 25 oil. So let's go do that real quick. And then I think that's it. And then we'll have a fully automatic watering system, which is going to be awesome. Again, I'm not going to go crops just yet. Um, because, like, you know, I, I need to do other stuff, too. Well, we'll maybe grow crops in the next episode. It's been a bit. I've been spending a lot of time. I know it doesn't look like much. Man, that looks sick. That actually looks super cool. I gotta paint that, too. I gotta paint those pistons. But that looks super cool from underneath. Just a nice grid. It can go back and forth. It'll spray all this, hopefully. That's gonna be... It doesn't even look that big. You know? Like, look at how tiny this farm is. That's 240 crops. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it's going to be a lot of crops. Like, we'll get 240 crops in one grow. That's going to be amazing. That's actually insane how many crops that is. But it really, it really looks small. Like, my first farm that I ever built in Scrap Mechanic when I played my first survival series was 100 crops total, I believe. I made a fully automatic farm with, like, a, a seeding system and a, a collecting system and a watering system. And it was literally, like, 100 crops. And the problem with it, too, was... The vacuum pumps for collecting and seeding were super, super slow. So even at 100 crops, it would take like all day for it to plant the whole stupid thing. So we'll have to see if the vacuum pumps in this mod are a lot faster, which they seem to be. Maybe an automatic uh, seeding system will be a lot quicker. It wasn't the collecting. The collecting was quick. It was the seeding that always took forever to do. But, you know, we'll see. I mean, we're going to start with the watering system. That's not going to have to change. When we do an automatic, like, collecting and seeding system... It'll be built way low to the ground anyway, because it has to be. It has to be, like, at ground level to be able to pick up the plants and stuff. The watering system, I'm hoping we're just going to basically create a rainfall from overhead. And that'll be enough to just, you know, completely drown all the crops. So, that's the hope anyway. Um, I thought I was heading to Bill's house. I went all oh, Bill's houses this way. Doesn't really matter. I just need to get more oil. So, we need 25 more oil. I'll just try and get, like, another, like, 30, 40. And that way we have enough. We can make some more gas as well. Is this not Bill's? Oh, Bill's house is over here. Yeah, over here. I'm getting lost. It's fine. All right, 61 oil. That should be more than enough. I love how fast it is to get oil. We definitely need a pump truck. I mean, a pump truck, I think, is going to be uh, the next big priority. Like, just a simple truck. It's got a thing on the back with a couple large chests hooked into a pump that we can lower into the oil pond. Just slap that on the back of the truck. Because then we can get literally, like, a few thousand oil. You know, in, in a very short amount of time. I mean, it's stacks of 20. There's 30 stacks in a chest, right? So 600 oil in one chest. We could do two two chests, get 1,200 oil in a single shot. And then we'll have gas for days. So, yeah, I think that'll be, that'll be a priority coming up here. But this should be enough oil to at least get our farming going. And then we definitely got to do some farming and get some soil plots. I think it's going to be one of those things where we're going to just farm to get soil to then farm some more... And, uh, and then we gotta get some guns as well to defend ourselves. But we'll try it with swords for now. I'm just gonna build, like, when we get time to farming, I'm just gonna build a big, like, metal one wall around the outside. It's not super strong, but it should be strong enough for the wolves. I don't know how it'll do for bears and stuff. Bears will probably just run right through it. Eventually, we'll have to make a whole, you know, reinforced metal three wall around the outside of our farm. Ideally, I just want a metal three wall with spud guns all around the outside of it so that as soon as, you know, an animal comes up or whatever, we can just turn on the spud gun defense and it'll just blast everything. That would be ideal. I don't want to have to actually, you know, do any of the uh, defending myself. All right, so I think we need uh, one, two, three, four, five. That should be 75 plastic. That should be all we need. I'm going to dump the rest of the oil into here. Just so we have it there. Might as well dump the component kits in there too. I gotta sort some inventory at some point in time. Don't need these other two vacuum pipes. So let's just get rid of those. Um, don't really need the other two switches. We'll hang on to them for now though. Not the end of the world. I should get some more metal block. Just to build with. Let's dump the metal three. There we go. Okay, perfect. And then we gotta start gathering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we should be able to make the rest of them. Oh, that's right. Gotta grab the plastic. Here we go. There we go. 75 plastic. Uh, 13, 14, 15 pumps. Perfect. 
All right, let's start placing these guys down. So we retract this thing all the way back. Oh, nope, it's already, it starts, that's right. Everything's gonna reset. Okay, so 15 pumps. One. I probably should make like that look a little bit better. They're kind of dangling there. Maybe put like an extra little bit on the rail so it doesn't look like they're just dangling magically, but it doesn't really matter. Five, there we go. We're just gonna, yeah, there, we'll, just, we'll just keep getting this done. Click, drag, click, drag. I really hope this is enough pumps and I did the math right. I mean, it should be. It should be one pump per soil plot. That's sort of how the sizing goes. They're three by three soil plots or three by three pumps. It looks right. Looks like we'll be fine with three more. You can see the weight on the bar already. It's not having a good time. They're kind of, they're kind of twitching a little bit. Uh, we might have to just reinforce that a little bit more. But anyway, hold there, hold there, hold there, hold there, there, and just keep repeating. Right, something like that. I think that's as far as, oh no, we have to go all the way out to here. There, there, and that. Perfect, and then on this side, we're just gonna put a logic gate on the rail. Because we need this to be, excuse me, can I just, ex hello? Can I place this? Thank you, right, like that. So this needs to be a not gate, yeah, and then we'll put extra little bit like that. You can see it's, it's literally wanting to sag. So let's just, we'll put an extra bit of rail. Yeah, that'll help it a lot. And then on this side, we need our sensor. And the sensor is going to go into the knot gate to basically say like, you know, if you see, if you don't see a hole, you're fine. If you see a hole, the knot gate will trigger. And then that's what will activate the, the stuff to all shoot. All right. And then this hooks into the knot gate like so. And that's a knot gate. So it's lit up. And then we need an and gate as well. Because we don't want this to trigger uh, any of these unless the switch to move them is on, right? So we can do like a simple AND gate here. So it triggers that to the NOT gate. The NOT gate goes to the AND gate like that. And then the AND gate goes to all those. And then we just need five pumps hooked into each uh, water tank. And this should basically automatically fire. I don't really know where I'm going to put the switch yet. For, oh, we're thirsty? Let's eat a burger. That always helps the thirst. Yeah, be perfect. Full health, full everything when you just eat a burger. There we go. So we'll connect these up. All right. Nice. Uh, now let's do a quick, uh, quick test. Eventually, I think I'm going to want to put this switch down below. That switch needs to be into that. There we go. Yeah, so it doesn't work unless it's deployed. And then this AND gate hooks into all of these. And then this will hopefully... I'm kind of a little bit worried about the lag. Um, I know with Cosmo and I, when we did a mega farm, it was pretty laggy because when you spawn water, it, it kind of creates a little bit of a burst of lag. But let's see what this does if I hit that. Okay, it's actually awesome. Oh, it missed one! It missed what? Are you serious? Is it because they're so high up that there's like a chance it won't hit it? Let me turn that back. That's so funny. Is there actually a chance it'll, it, like, it won't work? Oh, you know what? I don't need this AND gate because this AND gate, it doesn't shoot them on the way back. It should just shoot them in both directions. Wait, what? My auto- Oh, oh! Yeah, I gotta- We gotta turn on the water, man. You gotta turn on the water if you're gonna pump water. That would- That would help. There we go. Fill that up real quick. Yeah, it fills up pretty quick. The only pain with this system is all three of these tanks have to be full, and they fill in sequence. They don't fill simultaneously, right? So you gotta literally wait until this one's full, because otherwise, those five pumps on the one side, they're only fed from this furthest tank. So we just gotta wait on that. That's fine. Uh, let's retract this again. Yeah, now it works in both directions. You can see the last pumps don't work. That's funny. We're so high up, it didn't get that one. I don't think that's a big deal, honestly. I'm just gonna cover up the rest of this now but yeah i don't think that's a big deal we can just run it back and forth a few times and that'll that'll make everything work no problem so let's just do this let's do that just cover this up 
and just completely encase all this nonsense. That needs to stay open. This can get covered up like that. Perfect. So there we go. And let's just grab this. And now let's put our switch somewhere else. I don't really... That can be the water pump switch. That's fine. That can stay on. Um, I can cover this hole up as well. I guess we need to put just the switch down by the farm. Because, like, we're going to ideally want to farm. But I don't really have... Uh, yeah. I don't really know about this. Yeah, we'll have to turn that switch off as well. Did it get it this time? No, it still didn't get it. Interesting. Yeah, see the rain? When you're covered, it doesn't actually get them. It does when the map isn't spawned, which is weird. But it doesn't when we uh, we unspawn it. So I'm just going to actually build a pillar here. And then we'll have the switch come down on a pillar. And, uh, and then we'll just, you know, click it from here. So I'll eventually have to build, like, a whole structure here for doing the automatic, like, collecting and stuff. But that'll work for now. And then we can just hit that and deactivate that. And that'll run the water back and forth. So now let's go back up top and connect that up. And then we'll make sure we can actually get that plot. I hope it's not something stupid. I think it's just because we're quite literally so high up. The water has a bit of a random effect. It's like the spud guns. They're not perfectly accurate. And neither are these water pumps. So I have a feeling it's just one of those things where like... I can't reach that. That's so funny. Alright, this is going to be a pain in the butt. But yeah, I have a feeling it's just one of those things where like... Um... You know, the the water sprays, and there's a chance that it's not going to come perfectly straight down. Which, you know, is what it is. It's not the end of the world. So this has to connect. I should really put this on a logic gate. Now, oh, god dang it. I, uh, working at, um, yeah. I'm going to put this on a logic gate. I'm going to put a logic gate up there that we can connect it to. And then that way everything's easy to work with. Done. All right. Excellent. So now the auto watering system should work. I turn this on. Yeah, I got it this time. Alright, sick. It goes all the way out to the end. And then we can turn it off. And it'll come back. And water. Both. Yeah, you can see the spray. You can definitely see the spray. And you can see we ran out of water there. So that's perfect. That works great. That's actually awesome. There we go. Fully automatic. Well, not fully automatic, but we have to turn it on with a switch. But pretty much an automatic watering system. I mean, that'll cover our entire farm area, no problem. Let us water our crops relatively easily. And we can just do a few cycles back and forth like that. You can see it still didn't fill up the water yet. That's crazy. Yeah, you gotta you gotta kind of let it recharge for sure once it's uh, once it's been running. But yeah, there we go. Awesome. We'll be able to do 240 crops. We need to get way more soil, and uh, of course, we need to start growing some crops, do some trading, and then we gotta wall this whole thing off and reinforce it from the uh, the dudes. But there we have it. A perfectly set up watering system for our entire thing it only took way too many resources but i think it's going to be great and i think it's going to work super well and uh just get the job done so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below let me know what you think we should do next in crash lander a few things we got to do obviously we got to build an oil truck getting an oil adapter going and slapping it on the back of this truck will be a, uh, a super useful thing because obviously i spent a lot of time this episode gathering oil which could all be avoided and uh, that would be a lot easier to do. And then on top of that, maybe we build uh, a few more pumps for the watering system. I gotta, like, expose this a little bit easier. I wish there was a way to detect if these were full. I wonder if there's a way to do that. I'm not sure. Maybe there's, like, these have a logic... What, what happens if I hook this into a logic gate? Does it? Does that do anything? No. See, I can't even hook it in. I wonder if... Anyway, if, that was, if there was a way to detect that this was full, that would be awesome. Because we could just say, if it's not full, turn on the pump. And if it is full, don't pump. But right now, we just have to turn it on and off with this switch. So maybe there's a way to do that. I don't know. I haven't really looked through all the parts in this. Maybe there's a part that we can do something with. Maybe. No? I'm not sure. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Things are, things are moving up. Automatic watering system is uh, always a huge, huge thing to have. Super good to have when you're uh, dealing with crops and farming. And, uh, you know, obviously not having to use a watering bucket or rely on the rain is uh, super essential to mass farming in Scrap Mechanic. See, now that I don't have that on an AND gate, this first one doesn't go until you uh, until you turn it off and have it come back in the opposite direction. 
the first the first set here doesn't get sparked because they're already lit up on that sensor. They're waiting for for this switch. I guess I could have a second switch that's on the AND gate so that you have to turn on the water before you turn on the movement. And that would fix that issue. Maybe I'll fix that after. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, and as always, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time.